Let's learn how we can create several accounts at once. So what we need to do is put this in a loop. So say you want to run this script and you just want it to, you want to create accounts over and over and over again. You just want to type in the first name and last name because right now we'd have to run it again and again and again. And it's just a lot of work. So what we can do, instead of just rerunning the script over and over again, we can put this inside of what's called a loop. And we're going to use a while loop. And the way we're going to do this is by typing while. And we're going to create a variable called exit is and we're going to do dash NE, which stands for not equal to Q. And then we're going to do an opening bracket here. Okay. We also need to put a closing bracket here. So at the end of our script here, go down and put a closing bracket. And then it's a good idea to tab indent all your code. So we're going to indent all the code that's inside this while loop. It just makes it easier to read. Okay. Up here at the top, we're also going to specify the variable exit as equal to nothing. And I'm sorry about that wrong button. There we go. So the variable exit is equal to nothing. All right. Or it's null basically. What we're going to do at the end, we're going to give the user an opportunity to make this variable equal to Q. And if that variable becomes equal to Q, this script will cease to run. This while loop will be broken and the script will end. Okay. So we're going to make a comment and say, exit the loop. And then we'll put in a question mark and we're going to make the variable exit equal to read dash host. And we're going to put in a prompt and we're going to say type Q to exit, or I'm going to say to stop creating user accounts. Okay. So here, let's think about what's going on. The script is starting exit is being forced to an invalid variable. And then we begin this loop. And it's while exit is not equal to Q. So then it goes back on to what we've been using before. This is no different. And once we create the user account, we're going to get a message saying type Q to stop creating user accounts. Now, if that user types Q, the exit variable will now be equal to Q. And once this while loop starts over, it's going to check, is it equal to Q? If the user typed in Q, it will be, and it'll break the loop. All right, so let's give this a test. We're going to hit play and we're going to type in, enter your first name. And we'll call this uh, James Johnson. I'm not very, being very original here. And test password. Okay, and we'll press enter. And now it says type Q to stop creating accounts. Now, if we just hit enter, it should take us back to the loop. So now we're back at the loop. Let's go to Active Directory and check if that account has been created. So now we can see James John. So if we need to create a new account, we can do that. And we'll type in Mark. Mason and test. Uh, I'm just making up passwords at this point. Okay, so now let's type in Q and see what happens. So I'm going to type in Q and press enter, and we can see we're taken out of the script. Now, if we wanted to make this even faster, what we could do is use a standardized password, which I see a lot of people do. And what we need to do is get rid of the read host, and we're just going to call password equal to test password with a zero. So now if we run this, hit the run button here, we can type in something like Mark Jones. Oh, just type in Mark and then Jones. And we can just press enter to keep creating accounts. And we'll make a new account called James Wright. And we'll make another account called Kelsey Harton. I don't know, I'm just making up stuff at this point. Uh, Mason Wiley. Okay, and then now if we just want to quit, just hit Q. So we just created like seven accounts really, 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 really fast. And this can be done even faster by reading in a file, which is a bit out of the scope of this lecture. I may do that in the future, but this hopefully shows you how you can utilize PowerShell to quickly make new accounts. Now, one thing that I haven't shown you, I need to show you is how to save this and execute it. So I'm going to hit file in the top left and save as, and we'll save it to our desktop and we'll call it create user accounts. Okay, we'll hit enter. And now if we close this script, minimize out of Active Directory, close these tabs, I can right click on this PowerShell script and say run with PowerShell. And it says, please enter your first name, Marcus Bradley. And it says type Q to quit. No, we're not gonna do that. We'll make another one. Mikey Martin. And we'll just say quit. Okay, so now if we pop into Active Directory, 
we've now created a Mikey Martin and a, I don't even remember the last one. I think it was Marcus Bradley or something. But we can see that it's very easy to do this. If we need to create another account, we can just right click and say run with PowerShell and we can do it all again. All right. That's an introduction to how you can use PowerShell to create user accounts. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.